हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जावा डॉक कोड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टूल इन जावा लेक्चर सीरीज इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ जावा डॉक कोड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टूल सो वॉट वी विल लर्न टूडे वॉट इज जावा डॉक वाई जावा डॉक इज यूज विच आर द डिफरेंट जावा डॉक टेक्स यूज एंड लास्टली विल सी अदर कोड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टूल्स अवेलेबल नाउ जावा डॉक कोड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टूल इज यूज ओनली इन जावा प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज ओके टू जनरेट द जावा डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फॉर जावा कोड सिमिलरली वी हैव कोड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन टूल फॉर अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस एज वेल सो वॉट इज जावा डॉक इट इज अ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फाइल फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर प्रोजेक्ट विच प्रोवाइड्स इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट क्लासेस एंड मेथड्स ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट सपोज यू हैव क्रिएटेड जावा प्रोजेक्ट इन साइड एक्लिप्स और इन साइड नेटबिन्स एनी आईडी वेर वी कैन राइट जावा कोड फॉर दैट जावा प्रोजेक्ट वी कैन जनरेट अ डॉक्यूमेंटेशन फाइल विच इज नथिंग बट वी कॉल इट एज अ जावा डॉक Okay, who generates this documentation file automatically? Java doc. Every Java project will have class, and inside class, you might be using methods, different methods. So for those methods and the classes, the Java documentation is generated. So it is a tool to generate documentation for a particular project, where it is found inside the bin folder of Java installation folder. Now next we'll see why Java doc is used. It is used for generating the Java code documentation in HTML format. The HTML page will be created automatically by this Java doc tool from the Java source code which you have written in Eclipse or NetBeans IDE. Automatically HTML page will be generated which is easier to understand. Then it encourages good use of block comments. You can put different comments using Java doc automatically you can generate the block comments for the Java code written. We'll see how to generate the block comments automatically using Java doc. in eclipse then automatic production of documentation you don't have to do anything you just have to use java doc option inside eclipse we'll see generate java doc option when you click on that generate java doc option automatically html document will be produced now we'll see different java doc tags available there are many java doc tags we, we can use but uh, we'll be discussing only few which are mostly used so first tag what we are going to see is author tag okay it adds the author of the class suppose you have written the project on your system so your on your system your name is registered so when you use java doc generation and use the at the rate author tag your name will come okay at the rate author and actual name of yours will be coming now my name is aditi and i have registered uh, my system with my name so when i write the java project and i try to generate a java doc tag at the rate author automatically my name will come inside the project code similarly another java doc we tag we can use is at the rate param okay what is this at the rate param it is a parameter okay parameter you can say arguments of the functions so functions uh, has a parameters so uh, suppose one function is having two parameters then it will tell the name of those parameters when you use at the rate param okay on top of the function it will tell how many parameters you have used and the name of those parameter so at the rate param will come and then the parameter name description will come suppose i have written add function and inside add function i have two parameters then it will tell the names of those two parameters which i have used inside my function then we have a exception and throws tags this java doc tags are used when you use try and catch block inside your java project so at the rate exception if you use it will give uh, class name description which exception class you have used that class name description it will give and if you use throws inside your project then you can uh, it will give description about throws class name description so they are called as synonyms they are because they are almost same and they are used only when you use try and catch inside that only we catch the exception and we throw the exception next java doc tag is at the rate return now return is mostly used inside functions because function returns the values So when you use at the rate Java doc tag, it will return the section with the description text. So at the rate return will come first, and then the description. Okay, what type of uh, data your function is returning? Integer or float? The description will be given. At the rate version, if you have generated a Java doc for your Java project, then it will. If you use at the rate version tag, it will tell which version of Java doc you are using. Okay, actual version. will be displayed so these are the sum of the java doc tags we can use there are more okay these are main tags which are normally used when we write the 
Java code and we generate a Java doc for that code. So now we'll see other code documentation tools available. We have already seen the Java doc introduction. Then we have PHP documenter. This particular tool is used for generating the documentation for PHP codes. Similarly, we have send castle. This particular documentation tool is used for generating documentation for .NET code. If you have written the code in .NET programming language, then you have to use this send castle documentation tool for generating documentation for that code. Deoxygen is normally used for C++ codes. Okay, it will generate the documentation for C++ code which you have written. So this way, every programming language has their own code documentation tools. We have seen one of them, Java doc introduction and we'll see the implementation of Java doc in next video. So this was all about Java doc code documentation tool introduction. Thank you.